Hi there everybody, my name is Morna Fiskin. Welcome to Head Squeeze this week and today we're going to look at air pressure and try and explain how I can fit an egg inside a bottle. This experiment is going to have a few different aspects to it. What you'll need is a couple of milk bottles, some hard boiled eggs, a set of matches, strips of paper and then if the egg does not work in the bottle you can try at home some water balloons with some glass jars and then just a little bit of water to help add a bit of lubrication to the egg. If I have a look at this egg here and put it on top of that bottle, there's no way that's going to fit inside. It's never going to happen. So what we're going to do first is we're going to hard boil some eggs, which somebody did very kindly for me because I hate hard boiling eggs. Now, what I've done as well is we've peeled off the shell of the egg and if you have a look, still not going to fit inside that bottle. So what we need to do is we need to create a kind of a partial vacuum idea going on inside that bottle. So I am going to set light to a couple of strips of paper, put them inside that milk bottle, place the egg back on top and we're going to watch what happens. Now be very very careful obviously at home when you do this. Fire, fire, fire. Go, go, go. Pop the egg back on. Bouncing away. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so kind of sliced it in half, but what you did notice is it kind of bounced about a little bit on top. What's actually happening here when the egg goes inside the bottle, and it can go inside completely, it depends on the size of the egg that you've got. What's happening is because when you light the strip of paper and you put it inside the bottle, it starts to heat up the air inside. Now that means that all that air is kind of getting heated up which means that it starts to expand because as gas and also liquids when they get heated they get excited and the particles in them start to spread out and they start to move and expand their volume. So some of that air rushes out the top of the bottle but the flame inside can only keep going for as long as the oxygen is there to keep that fire continuing. So as the oxygen goes out the flame will go out and the air inside that bottle will start to cool down and also the pressure inside decreases. What then starts to happen is that the pressure on the outside of the bottle wants to get back inside of that bottle so it rushes back in and as it does so it forces the egg inside with it and that's basically how air pressure works is like a little partial vacuum being created. Now milk bottles are actually a really rare thing nowadays I got these off of a, couple, a friend of mine but what you can do is you'll find a couple of glass jars in your house and get some water balloons so we're going to move on to that now so I'm just going to move my eggy over to the side studio smells lovely now and we're going to move to two different sizes of jars with some water balloons on top same idea light strip of paper pop it inside the glass jar replace the water balloons on top and hopefully we should get them to go inside as well now let's get a couple of strips here it's a nice big one we'll do the nice tall one first Fingers crossed it doesn't burst. Hey, there we go. Okay. Set fire. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. It's really what the egg should have looked like. Stupid egg. Move that one to the side. Let's have a look. Let's do the bigger one. So this is a kind of a wider glass jar. That one was a lot taller. Okay. Light some fire. In we go, replace on top. Go on, go on. <laughs> kind of, nearly, nearly. It's a big balloon, quite a st short, stocky bottle, but that's pretty much what your experiment should look like. So you're going to have more chance of getting some balloons and jars than you are maybe milk bottles. So just have a go yourself. The issue is, how do you then get that egg or that balloon back out of the bottle? So I'm going to pass this over to you. Subscribe to Head Squeeze, have a go yourself, tweet us some pictures about how you get on and I want to know how do you think you'd be able to get the egg or the balloon back out of the bottle or the jar without breaking the jar? Yeah. 